Hey guys, my name is Brandon Rosanne, and today we're gonna to be talking about the power of a schedule and how to use Apple Calendar. Let's get into it. So I prefer to use a digital calendar versus a paper calendar because a digital calendar is much easier to use and if you're on the go, this calendar is on your phone. Using a calendar is important because it provides structure through your day and you don't have to remember everything you're trying to get done. In this video, I will be showing you my process for how I schedule my day in the Apple Calendar. Let's get into it. Now I know I said I prefer to use a digital calendar, but I use paper to write out everything I need to get done for the day first. Once I've written my list of tasks, I then prioritize each task so I know what's most important. Right after that, I go to my MacBook Air and I open the Apple Calendar. Now that we're on the calendar, you see that we have a blank schedule. Here we can view by the year and see all 12 months. Then we can view by month, where it shows each consecutive day leading into the next month. After that, the week, which shows us from Sunday all the way to Saturday, as well as a 24 hour time frame, And then we can go down to the day chart where we get the same, of course, the day in a 24 hour time frame. On the day, week, month, and year, you may find yourself not seeing the red circle right here indicating today's date. So the best thing to do if you're on a different time frame and you don't know where you're at is to click the top right button right here where it says today. It'll take you right back to the red circle letting you know what today's date is. At the top left over here, we are able to see if we have any new or reply to invitations. Next, we also have the ability to add a quick event, which leads us into clicking onto calendars. Now, you should be able to see a sidebar right here. This is where you can right click with two fingers and allows you to click onto new calendar to allow yourself to schedule your first event. We're gonna place this as a workout and color code this one with two fingers pressing down. Custom, custom color this one as the red color. Perfect. From here, we're gonna go ahead and click to the week and we're gonna click on the time frame we would like to do the workout for the next day. So I prefer to work out tomorrow at 6 a.m. in the morning. So we're gonna click paste event and we're gonna put that at 6 a.m. Now that we have our first event set for the day, I wanna show you some of the features that you can use in Apple Calendar. Now, if you want to add the location, you would simply double click on the calendar. Let's just add gym. After you type this in, you now see that Jim pops up right underneath the title of the event that you set. So now if you're like, where am I going for my location? All you have to do is look right underneath the title of your event. After that, next we are capable of setting the time frame this event will be active. So first, you can set your event to all day. This puts the event into this upper bar right here where it is visible no matter where you are for the day, right? You see for the day week in the month these all-day events are also highlighted over any other tasks not placed in the all-day category and i like to use these all-day tasks for things like reoccurring payments or anything that needs to be highlighted over any other event that i can see at the top of the bar that's provided in apple calendar second you have the start and end date this allows you to schedule ahead of time the end of a school semester a project or anything that requires a start and end date but if you're only scheduling for the next day, this is optional. Third, you have the ability to repeat a task. I use this one all the time. With this repeat, you can schedule a task to be every day, every week, every month, every year, or you even have the option to set this up as a custom event. So say I wanted to work out every single day except Saturday. I would click Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I click OK. Now that we see everything is basically scheduled, everything from the week on, we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, except Saturday. And again, the same thing happens next week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it skips Saturday. But now you may be asking, what if I wanna work out at a different time other than 6 a.m. in the morning? All you have to do is drag that time down to the time you want. We're gonna do 2 p.m. Now you have three options. One, you can click cancel and time goes back to normal. Two, click all and every single event that's on your calendar will move to 2 p.m. And three, click only this event. And now you're capable of scheduling any reoccurring event one at a time for a specified time if you don't wanna do it every single day at the same time or if you just wanna modify. Number four for the different time purposes that you have. 
If you have a job or need to be somewhere at a specific time, you have the option to pick the time it will take you to travel there. Let's say I'm a real estate agent. I need to be in Salt Lake City at 3 p.m. for my scheduled showing appointment. In order for me to plan and schedule my travel time to my destination, I need to use some form of GPS so that I can place the time frame it will take me to get to my destination. So we see that it takes 15 minutes to get to Taylorsville from Salt Lake City. From here, we go to our calendar and we click 15 minutes. We see that a new little bar was added above the white line indicating the travel time. And of course, if you need a custom time, you can always click back onto your event, go to your travel time and click custom. Lastly, the fifth option. You can also add an alert to notify you ahead of time to get ready for your event. It can notify you at the time of the event, or of course you can customize your notification time. Hopefully you see the power of a schedule and how using Apple Calendar can simplify your day. Once done adding your specified times, you can choose to add a friend, business partner, or a family member to view that specific event. So we'll just add mom for now and click MOM. After that, you can then add notes, a URL to a web page of your choice, and the option to add an attachment, such as a personal file. Now that we have gone through all of the time preferences, we will now schedule my entire day, and this is where I go right back to pen and paper so I know what I'm going to put on my schedule. So I like to start my day off at 5 a.m. in the morning, but one thing too before we go on is, I don't want my calendar being the same as my workout over here. So what I'm gonna do is double click here and add a new calendar. We're gonna make this one, we're gonna make this one blue. And we're gonna title this Daily Activities. This is of course something you do every single day you wake up. I'm gonna add meditation for 10 minutes, read for 10 minutes, and write for 10 minutes. I don't need to add any URLs or any added attachments because the notes is telling me specifically what I need to do. And of course, we're gonna be changing that color to daily activities. Entitling this morning ritual. And we spend about 45 minutes doing that. From here, we will take off the travel time because we're not traveling anywhere other than downstairs. And our workout will begin at 6 a.m. Now, a rule of thumb, it's best to always leave 15 minutes in between each event as you may spend more time doing one task versus the other, or sometimes you need a break in between tasks where you might need that extra little 15 minutes to ensure that you get other things done, or you might wanna just take a nap. From here, I have my workout. Then I like to, of course, take a shower, time of that daily activity, along with eating breakfast. Right after breakfast, we then schedule for work. And when we will be adding a new activity from the new calendars here, we're gonna be titling that work. And changing that color to orange. And changing this, double click it, and go to orange work. Perfect. For work, I like to do things in chunks with the system I call God Focus. Of course, if you guys wanna check that out, there'll be a video to that in the link description box below or up here. So I'll be working for two hours from 8.30 to 10.45. Once then, I'll be taking a 15 to 30 minute nap, which always gives me a mental and physical boost for the rest of the day. After my nap, I'll be eating lunch. I like to know what I eat beforehand, so I, of course, add that to notes. And once I get back from eating, I like to come back and then get right back to schedule and finish more tasks that are on my schedule. Of course, I do another two hours of working on things that I put in my calendar, that I add in the notes section. So most normal days, I'll just have a couple of hours of things that I need to focus and work on, but if I ever have enough time to do anything outside of working or focusing on my daily routine and th or working out or things like that, I like to create another section in my calendar titled to-do list. So I'll go back over here to the new calendar and type in a new category called to-do list, Perfect. So at that point, it's 2.15. I still have a couple of, I still have basically all of my day. So what I'll do is I'll throw on a couple to-dos that are on my list of to-dos for what, let's say about two and a half hours. And we'll title this to-do list. And of course, in the notes section, I'll be adding any of the tasks that I need to get done for the day outside of work in that to-do list section. Once any of these tasks are done in my to-do list section, I then prepare to eat dinner. And we'll add that one at the 6.15 time frame. And we'll be titling this Daily Activities in Dinner. 
And as you guys can see, I pretty much made it make it very simple. I know I'm eating three times a day, of course, with snacks in between. I'm working, trying to focus on studying material, anything that I have on my, to, my, my list of things to get done for work, I'm putting those all in my notes. I'm taking a shower, I'm eating breakfast, working out, routines throughout the day, lunch, everything's pretty much really organized. And I like to give myself a, speci a specific amount of time and enough time to get each task done. So right around the time that dinner is over for me, I then like to go somewhere quiet and plan out my day. And I tend to spend around 30 minutes doing this. Doesn't take me too long. So from 7.30 to 8 p.m., I'm pretty much scheduling my day. So now I'm scheduling my day. I've eaten dinner. I planned out for the next day. At this point, it is now currently eight o'clock. This is when I get ready to do my night routine where I pretty much do the same thing that I do the night before. And from 8.15 to 9.15 p.m., I'm pretty much focusing on things to calm my body down, prepare my mindset for the next day, and um, of course, learn something. And then of course, I'm in bed around 9.15, 9.30, and then I'm ready for the next day. So in today's video, I showed you guys how to use Apple Calendar, what my day looks like using Apple Calendar, and how this can make your day that much simpler when using this calendar. I hope this video was of value to you, and if it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today. See you guys in the next video.